In this video, I'll be going over how to use audio tokens in Above VTT. Add an audio token to the map, you'll want to go to your audio track library. You'll see a new button to add a token to the map. And once on the map, the track will appear in the mixer. You'll notice the Remove Track button has been replaced by a Locate Token button, and deleting the token will remove the track from the mixer. You'll find additional audio settings in the context menu of the audio token. Uh, you'll find range. This is the distance when players and tokens will first hear the audio. Selecting the audio token will display the range as a ring around the token. Uh, Distance-based volume. This option will reduce the volume of a track the further the player or token is from the audio token, approaching zero as it gets closer to the audio token's range. And then blocked by walls. Uh, this option makes it so that audio token needs a direct line of sight without walls in order to play for a given player or token. Otherwise, it will play anywhere in its radius. Doors and windows must be open in order for the sound to pass through them. As the DM, selecting tokens will allow you to hear from its perspective. Use selected token vision for audio if you have blocked by walls enabled. As a player, your own token and any tokens you control or have shared vision of will determine what audio you hear. In both cases, the closest token to an audio token will determine the volume. 